buddy. He kills hard. Yeah. And I'm jealous now. Yeah. I thought I was the guy who gets chicks. I mean, yeah. I'm the guy that holds umbrellas. experience Snowden Gordon happy new year from Odessa Ukraine just rang in the new year with some friends here I actually just got back to Odessa two days ago just in time for the new year so let's look forward to a phenomenal 2021 2020 was not the best year for most people uh, because of travel restrictions and lockdowns and whatnot more or less across the globe so fingers crossed 2021 we're gonna smash it absolutely and i have been traveling for a lot of the last two months i was over in the west of ukraine in carpathian mountains absolutely phenomenal spot and i will have a vlog from there coming up it should be the next video here on the channel uh it's gonna be one that you should definitely watch if you're planning to spend a little bit more than say a week or two in Ukraine and you do have the time to go out there, especially if you have uh, a local girlfriend here in Ukraine. It is a really, really magical place to go. And uh, that's coming up next on the channel. So definitely watch that. As you can see, the sun is phenomenal here. It seems every time I come back to Odessa and I go to film, we get this really not normal weather to be frank it's not normally this sunny and nice in the winter it was snowing i was in uh, kiev and in kharkiv with a client uh, just about a week ago absolutely crushed there in Kharkiv. it was a lot of fun to go back to kharkiv in for the first time in about 18 months great town to hang out in and it was snow everywhere and it was definitely that christmas winter feel but here in odessa on the shores the black sea that you see behind me uh very very different it's sunny and actually it was almost too warm to wear this jacket now the sun's about to go down it will be the case so with that said let's get into today's vodka vodcast and it's going to be a slightly different one. something i haven't done before on this channel and that is to review and critique for you so that you can learn from some pickup artists we'll call them name of them they don't like that term anymore but tradition that's what it's called they go out and they try to talk to girls who they don't know on the street and see if they can spark that attraction and maybe have a relationship of some sort with them so what i'm going to do next three vodcasts my plan is to actually review three we'll call them pickup videos because they're not all pickup artists and this is something i think you're going to find very interesting we're going to start today with the first one we're going to review a video by james marshall who basically is professionally shall we say a pickup artist he runs dating coaching and pickup and whatnot and in the next two videos i'm going to take guys that the second one you'll see he does a little bit of pickup but he's not really what he's focusing the last guy does not do it at all he's actually a comedian and you're going to see the results they get when they try to go out in the streets and meet women here in eastern europe or eastern european women in general we're going to obviously for the purpose of my channel <laughs> we're going to focus on that and there's a lot you can learn from i did previously do a video it's about 18 months ago at this stage when i was in st petersburg with james tuscan we went out and james gave me some Vice obviously coached me through the process and we filmed actually me making approaches, these cold approaches, five in Russian, five in English. Uh, definitely go and take a look at that video. As always, down below in the description box or up in a card somewhere at the moment. If you haven't seen that, it's also a really interesting experience for me to do. And I definitely learned something from the experience. So definitely go and check it out and see what the reaction is if you go and just talk to women on the street and the value you can get from that. So just before we dive into today's video with James Marshall, I actually met some of his team. It's a little bit of a disclaimer when I was in Budapest. So they're actually based in Central Europe, it looks like. In this video, he's going to be in the Czech Republic in Prague. Prague. And um, I actually met his team in Budapest, in Hungary. They came over to me. I was at a cafe and I started talking to a Russian girl who was beside me. And they actually came over and said, hey, that was really cool what you did. And they struck up a conversation and explained that's actually what they do professionally. So uh, just a little bit of disclaimer. I have met his team before for what that's worth and uh, i had a nice chat with them um they were nice guys in person but let's see how james get on with doing what he does professionally which is stopping women in the street and sparking attraction hi there hi how are you good <laughs> good i'm just here because you look fucking cool and i want to say hello <laughs> thank you yes thank i'm james kate kate so there you see he stopped a girl on the street he's walking around Prague he's done what's called a frontal stop so basically put his hand out you have to do it like 
<laughs> like that and uh, he stops so this is actually pretty effective we did it on the video uh, it might seem a bit rude almost but it's effective and just looking at him um, he's I mean he's a reasonably tall looking guy I would say uh, I noticed that like he's dressed very informally there with the t-shirt uh, and I see in his more recent videos he's actually spruced that up a bit as an appearance he tends to wear kind of more nicer clothes I guess you could say more a little bit more formal with the shirts uh, but all good so far he stopped the girl he's actually done to probably preface the whole video what 99% of men are too scared to do he's seen a girl that he's attracted to in the middle of the day and he's gone over and he's started a conversation with her so already he's on <laughs> he's getting a big thumbs up for me already because at least he's gone and done that which is what most guys just won't do uh, whether they're walking on the street or they're in the cafe or whatever they just don't go over and approach they just look at the girl she walks by they never see her again so kudos for doing that james i'm james kate kate mm -hmm. and you matched your nails with your dress do you do that do you do that every day you have a different color of nail for every dress uh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. So there he's made an observation. He hasn't asked her a question or anything. He's observed that she's color coordinated her nails with her, what do you say, dress or some of her clothes anyways. Uh, very good. Very strong. Open observation. Uh, and then he's made it kind of playful and funny. Do you do this all the time? And uh, she looks pretty, she's pretty responsive. She actually looks like she's uh, at least initially interested in him. Um, you can see that. Let me just... <laughs> it's just for one month I have. Uh -huh. Where are you from? You don't sound Czech. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Where do you think I'm from? So now he's established that she is Russian. Uh, one observation, he should have made another observation. He should have just assumed she was Russian or assumed she was from somewhere. Asking, it's a little bit predictable, boring to say, where are you from? It's a pretty obvious question. So I think he could have done a little bit better and say, hey, you look Russian or I think you're Russian but you don't look like a typical Russian or something that's a little bit more interesting, playful than where are you from? He's asked her as a response uh, where she thinks she's from, so now she's going to try and guess. Where do you think I'm from? I don't know, some England? Australia. 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 <laughs> I'm speaking more clearly than the average Australian, otherwise you wouldn't understand me. Uh, of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, every time I have problems with the Australian. So there he's kind of glossed over the fact that he's from Australia. He could have made her maybe guess a little bit more, made it a bit more interesting, created a little bit more tension. Uh, we've gone straight into it. And she's kind of uh, gaming him a little bit by saying she has problems with, <laughs> with Australians. That would have been something that he could have used about Russians maybe uh, in a playful way, of course. But uh, so now he's actually having to, well, he doesn't disqualify, he doesn't qualify himself at least. Uh, but she then clarifies that she can't understand Australians, which is pretty normal since it's a harder accent to understand in English. <laughs> you have problems with Australians. Uh, no, I have problems with oh, understanding fine. Australians. No, I understand. I have problems with Russians. So. <laughs> ah, so then he does say, I have problems with Russians. So that was good. Pretty strong. You can see there from her body language that she appears to be interested. At least uh, subliminally, she's uh, her the position of her legs. Uh, she's touched her hair a few times. So definitely pretty strong opening. She looks interested in him. Um, so it's Katya, right? Mm -hmm. All right. What are you doing here? What's going on in life? Uh, you mean in Prague? Yeah, in like general. I'm living here. I'm studying here. Mm. You like it? Yes. Okay. Uh, what do you do for a living? What are you doing? Very weak. Um, he should have made some assumptions, made it playful. Like he's come off a good one. He has trouble with Russians in general. Uh, he could have elaborated that, but again, he switched more into this kind of like what I always call interview mode. Boring set of questions. Uh, not very exciting. I'm living here for uh, 18 years already. So oh, really? So like, oh, well, you, only, you only look like you're 18 years old. So. You only look like you're 18? Oh, pretty strong. Uh, again, he's making an observation. He's teasing her a little bit. So good. I'm 23. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, that's good. It's better to look younger, right? <laughs> so she qualifies her bit, herself a little bit there by saying, hey, I'm 23. She starts um, being a little bit nervous about it. She, she doesn't feel uh, as comfortable saying that she really is 18. <laughs> Except if you're a boy. If you told me I looked 18, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> um, yeah. So there you see, she's laughing a lot. <laughs> Again, she's still interested in him for sure. That's what I'm seeing in the body language there. Uh, and he... I mean, his jokes are not that funny, uh, which is fine. It's just an indicator of her interest in him that she's laughing, because this is pretty strong. If he was really saying a very funny joke, then the fact she laughs mightn't be as strong an indicator of interest. But if you say something that's not particularly funny and the girl's laughing, giggling, then it's usually a good sign. 
Well, I'm, I live in Budapest, but I'm just here uh -huh. for some business at the moment. And I am a very shy person, lacking self-confidence. So that's why I decided to come up here and test myself and just meet you. Oh, sorry. You have to go. Oh, no, you got a phone call. Yeah, so there she takes a call. Um, so that's going to disrupt his um, interaction with her a little bit. But he's been pretty weak in that last part. Uh, basically, he's qualifying himself why he came over. Uh, the girls don't care. I mean, he's already in a conversation. I don't really understand why he decided to try to qualify himself in that way and excuse why he came over. Uh, that he's working, that he's kind of lowering his own value, I think, in the, in the eyes of the girl. But anyways, she up until that point definitely has um, sees him as pretty high value, it looks like. Um, as I said, we see all the indicators of interest she has, but he's doing pretty well up until that point. Let's see how he gets on now that it's been interrupted by a phone call. Da? Da, I'm already here. Окей, хорошо. Я поняла, хорошо, ладно. Окей, давай. Are you meeting somebody? Right now? Yep. Okay, would you like to go on a date with me later or tomorrow? Uh, we can, for example, do you have Facebook? Yeah. What are you going to do with it? Just add me just, and then, just, uh, and then never talk contact. to me? Uh, yeah, would you, we can do numbers instead. Okay. He's framed it as basically like would you like to go on a date with me now? I understand he's under a time constraint, the friend has shown up. I actually wasn't able to tell whether the friend is male or female uh, by the word she used. It's kind of ambiguous, but in any case, it's not so relevant here whether it happens to be a guy or a girl, but he's asked her a question. He hasn't said, made a proposal and said something like, hey, cool to meet you. Let's go and do this cool thing later this week or whenever he wants to, to do it or later that day. He's uh, asked a question. It's always weak. So he sounds already a little bit needy. I don't like some of these numbers. Why not? Because... Uh, I don't know. Just... just uh, I don't like... Is that because you've had situations where you gave a number and then the guy texts you 20 times in a row and you have to change your phone number? Yeah, for example. Yeah. <laughs> he is very insistent about getting a phone number here as opposed to being able to connect with her on, say, Facebook or on Instagram. Um, I personally prefer to connect on Instagram anyways because then you can allow Instagram to work for you and provide a little bit more value about your lifestyle and whatnot. So phone number is kind of dead. I understand that he is a dating coach slash pickup artist, so probably he doesn't want her to see that as his profile. It could be just he has a public profile uh, where he talks about what he does for a living, but he should just own that, I think. And in any case, he could always make a second one. And just give her that to her. So it looks like he wasn't super prepared for the, the logistical situation and now he's gone and qualified himself. Like you, you want the girl to be qualifying herself to you, not the other way around about why he's not some kind of crazy stalker that he's going to harass her if she gives him her phone number. So that's pretty weak. And basically he's just trying to wait. What is he trying to get here? He's under a time constraint and he just wants to have a way of contacting uh, this Russian girl later on so that he might be able to see her again and um, yeah I mean if he has a Facebook and he had a good interaction which he was having a pretty good interaction I think uh, if he f it seems like he didn't perceive that he's already created enough value with her uh, to just have the Facebook and be able to contact her he's kind of pushed for it um, to get the phone number or he just hasn't set up an, I guess a, a Facebook that's not him being a dating coach anyways let's see um, because he was doing well before that. I totally understand that, but I would never do that because I have too much pride in myself. So I, if, I, I if I text you once and you don't reply, then so I won't text me, you again. Like, Facebook is better. It's like a uh, buffer zone. It's a buffer zone, like Ukraine, between the West and... Yes, something like this. Did you get my geopolitical joke or not? I got it. Uh... You want to you want to create enough distance that it's not dangerous, oh, God. but it's but then. Buffer zone. Okay, I understand. I understand. Uh, so two things there about saying that it's a buffer zone, like Ukraine to a Russian girl. It's a bit high risk to bring up geopolitics. Um, obviously, she's Russian, and now we're talking about Ukraine, or maybe she has a complete. You know, maybe she's uh, not a huge fan of the current Russian government. I don't know what it is, but it's a bit high risk to bring up geopolitics. And then he's explaining way too logically his whole analogy. So he's already. Is already losing value and she you can feel the energy that she had and the attraction i can feel it slipping away a good bit anyways let's see what happens next and what's your plan for the week are you busy studying and stuff or what uh 
now I have today I had last exam. Mm, did you do it good? Uh, yes, one uh, I failed one in English <laughs> actually, <laughs> and uh, uh, so I will have next term in uh, one and a half week, and now I'm waiting for one result, and uh, I, I hope it would uh, would be fine. But uh, else I have yeah, uh, I have make it good. Okay. You're under, it's under control. Okay, Jamie, J-A-M-M-I-E, yeah, and then next word is Marshall. Marshall? M-A-R-S-H-A-L-L, -L. yeah, not him, not him, not that guy. Man, he missed a huge opportunity there. She basically said that she had a, an English time, she didn't do well, and he is a native speaker of English. Why isn't he going to propose to be her tutor? It's just such an easy one, and also, and she just failed an exam in English. She probably want to qualify herself about her English. Ah, this is a huge opportunity missed. I'm kind of surprised. So now he's exchanging finally. Uh, in terms of a frame, finally he's had to exchange or try to connect on Facebook, even after he insisted in a very needy fashion about connecting um, via just phone numbers, I guess WhatsApp or another messaging app. Uh, so he's already come into her frame. So this is again. Pretty weak because um, he had to compromise. Hello, now he's looking and looking. Uh, if you want to, you can find me because I'm um, I'm the one. You're the, the only like Katya. Yes. So he can't find himself on right, Facebook. Right there, I don't have maybe, right okay, maybe in all fairness, that's why he didn't want to exchange because he can't find himself. But still, you should know your number if you're uh, doing this as a pro. That's become a lot easier, obviously, with the end. I guess this was before. Uh, roaming free across Europe, so you could buy a SIM card in one EU country and then travel to the other, because I think he's based a lot in Portugal and in Hungary, so he probably doesn't have this issue, but still, you want to get that sorted on your first day. It's his German name. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there an interesting story behind that? I didn't, I didn't notice your green highlights before, that's awesome. Thank you. So again, he's asking a lot of questions. He could make a joke about being German, he could... Um, Make, make, make some observation about her name. Oh, I guess he did. He did say it was German. Or he noticed that it wasn't Russian at least. But he should be guessing. Again, he's asking too many questions. You want to make it easier for the girl in this case um, than he's doing at least. It was blending in. <laughs> yes. uh, all right, get out of here. You were in a rush, right? Mm hmm All right. Okay, well, I hope to see you again. And if okay. not, bye. Oh, that's such a weekend as well. Uh, conclusion before, before this guy comes over yeah very weak ending he's like yeah and if not he shouldn't be assuming that she's going to flake on him although in all fairness it was such a weak end to the interaction that probably that's the likelihood of what's going to happen there between them so in spite of his weak frame at the end hoping that the girl <laughs> uh, is going to get back in contact of, with him basically he's he should be the prize i mean that's what guys with abundance would see themselves as Again, he gets cuter for doing what 95% of guys, not even 95, probably 99% of guys would not do in that situation, was go over and talk to the girl. At least give himself a chance so he gets maximum points for approaching. But then after, and actually for the regional uh, interaction, the start of that interaction, he was doing really well. The girl looked attractive to him. Uh, he did ask a little bit too many questions, but still he made enough observation, made it playful enough, created good energy. And then once, you know, I get interrupted by that phone call, you see, he came across as very needy. Uh, he didn't have his logistics down. He made it complicated everything, then made the um, geopolitical joke, which didn't help. And uh, as I said, you could feel the energy even sapped out of the whole conversation between them. Ah, it just was pretty high. She was, the, she had a lot of indicators of interest and then it just seemed to go downhill to the end. Um, so this is pretty typical I find for a lot of guys who do pick up uh, who do day game in general is that they they approach a lot of girls maximum kudos to that but after that their interactions a lot of the time just leave a lot to be desired and 
very often they're not going, they're going for more quantity, not quality, they're not going for girls in general who are, say, the most in demand because that's, they would have to be able to create even higher perceived value just straight off the cuff without stopping someone on the street, which is hard. I did do that, as I said at the beginning of this video with James Touching. Go check out that video if you haven't seen it. Get some indication about how I got on when I went and did this myself. I think these kind of guys can definitely help uh, men who really have approached anxiety, not very experienced in talking to women at all. I think that's really the kind of person I guess they're aiming uh, in general to help. So I think they can provide value still to someone who is just too scared to even go over and talk to uh, a pretty girl or a girl that they're attracted to at least. Um, so that's what I see as it. But when you try to go to that next level, you're actually able to talk to some girls then just getting over that you don't suffer hugely from approach anxiety. As you can see, professional uh, dating coaches, a lot of them, I'm not really convinced that they can provide that kind of person with the extra, with the extra skill set that they need. Also, none of them, it seems, specialize actually here in Eastern Europe. They also all depend on English. I mean, that can be a plus or a minus. Of course, if you get an English groupie, then probably should be delighted to speak English. Uh, and a lot of, most women under 25 uh, in Eastern Europe, in big cities, they have at least a basic understanding, but they're not doing it in Russian. Uh, I know he's obviously not even in a Russian speaking country or a country where Russians spoke a lot because he's in Prague. But in general, that's something I noticed about him. That is something that puts him at a huge disadvantage in general when they come here. I've had other famous uh, pick up artists, people representing, uh, tell me about what, what happened in reality when they came here to Odessa, Mama, Scam Central on trips and it didn't go very well because yeah, it's a different environment here. They tend to specialize in Central Europe, but of course the leveling issue is also a lot higher and to be blunt, overall the girls are not as pretty or as demanding. So if you would like to know exactly how to absolutely smash it, hit it out of the park, when you come here to a city like Odessa in Ukraine, maybe it's Minsk in Belarus, or maybe it's Moscow, St. Petersburg, over in Russia, then I am finishing up season two of my premier dating course for here in Eastern Europe, that is Slavic Seduction Secrets. In that, we go into things about how to obviously have a real man mindset, something that here James Marshall had a little bit in the beginning, but not overall. He wasn't able to be assertive and lead enough. Uh, he was asking too many questions and getting the girl base to have to make decisions. And that's not a real man mindset. You'll have heard a lot about uh, Russian uh, real men because that's a different way that they behave here compared to in the West. Uh, he's Australian, so we're kind of being from the West. Uh, in, in that sense, is Western culture. Uh, so it's different, very different operating environment for after you've gotten the contact like he had there. We talk about things, but obviously how to make your social media create value for you so that after you get that contact like he did, whether it happened to be on Facebook, any social media, just having that profile that then uh, demonstrates your lifestyle in a specific way that's going to provide value, make you more interesting to the girl. Of course, after that, when you finally get her out of date, I mean, if you get a... I mean, flake rate is very high. We go into that also on the course, but assuming he had uh, actually miraculously gotten a date from that low uh, energy end to it, uh, you're going to have to know how to plan the perfect date, uh, then know how to escalate, and then create a real long-lasting relationship. We also go into the gold digger test and how to test the girl whether she is suitable for a long-term relationship at the end once you've established that rapport and actually start a relationship with her. Uh, that's really important for you to get dialed in. So in order to be notified next time it opens up uh, for enrollment, then you need to be on my free mailing list, completely free. Down there in the description, there is a link and you can sign up. You just have to confirm your email and you'll get notified. I only open up these things in general uh, to my most loyal fans are on that free mailing list. There is a free gift. Five biggest mistakes made by Western guys when they come here to date in East Europe. There's a checklist, checklist for that and you do not want to mess those things up. Anyways, that's completely free. It's a bit of a no-brainer. Go do it now and then you will be able to enjoy that for your trip here to Ukraine. As you see, the sun has just disappeared over the sunset, which would be the perfect way to end this video. I actually want to show you the outro to his video as well because it's quite interesting. Hello. That looks like an interesting text. You've got a cheeky smile there. Are you on a date? Yeah, kind of. First date? Yeah. 
Good, well that's that's good, because when he arrives he'll be a little bit jealous, which will make him watch him more. And then I can pretend to be the gay friend and confuse him. Who am I? I'm James. How do you do? Nice to meet you as well. Uh, so there you see, he is super playful, super interesting, not needy whatsoever. And actually, even though it's a difficult situation, she's basically like, go away, I'm waiting for a guy. He manages to kind of switch it around and make himself extremely useful in the situation. Hey, I'm going to be the gay, pretend to be the gay friend and uh, make him jealous when it comes. It starts a very nice interaction. That was actually more impressive than the whole clickbait title of, uh, I think he said seduces, whatever, uh, some redhead Russian. Uh, he didn't seduce anything. He got a very weak lead. That was it. So that was actually the most interesting part of the video in terms of him creating good rapport. Uh, and I'm going to say Dopobachna, Disvidanya. See you very soon in the next video. Ciao, ciao from Odessa Mama. Sar Experience.